What's happening, fam? L.A. Y'all Movement Still Moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father at Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below as usual. Go get it. PayPal link there also. They asked me to put it up, so I put it up. Thanks, everybody, for supporting. But this video, though, this video is entitled Protect Your Reputation, Black Man. Shout out to Lowcast for giving me this idea. A lot of times we have a bad reputation that is... Um, some of it from our own actions and some of it from other people's stereotypes because they're projecting onto us. So, you know, your, your reputation or your name is going to precede you, right? So, our reputation in America is negative. Now, every, for the most part, most people know our reputation is manufactured, but it's our responsibility to protect our reputation. You see, if somebody says we're not smart, it's our responsibility to be smart. We don't have to make, you know, make everybody look stupid who says we're not smart because people link up together to say that just so they can get over. But what we do have to do is protect our reputation by being intelligent. And nothing's wrong with being intelligent. You don't have to dumb yourself down or, 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 or play these type of games for anyone. So protect your reputation. And I'm going to get into some other reasons on the opposite side why. Because a lot of times people don't think about it, but normally black men are paid to, to represent the negative stereotype of black men. If, if you fit a negative stereotype of black men, you're probably, probably going to be doing well off financially. If you uh, portray that you're dumb, somebody's going to pay you for that. If you can't, if you have a, a hard time speaking, somebody's going to have, going to pay you, you know, money to go out in public and speak ignorantly or, or sound ignorant. Yeah, I'm tripping. But that's what goes on in society. You know, if you're hypersexual, they're going to put you out in public to be hypersexual. They're going to pay you for that because that reinforces the negative stereotype and that, and that tarnishes our reputation. Now, other people could actually be all of these things, but they have the opposite reputation. See, this is why... Black men are looked at as hypersexual, right? And we're going just to just take it from a woman. But it's normally white men that's raping women, men, and children. Hispanics, probably second. Asians, probably third. But they dump that reputation onto us. So people are, dis are, are, are mistrusting of us when we come around because they're scared what we're going to do sexually, but they're trusting of other groups because publicly they have a different reputation. Publicly, uh, white men are angelic. Publicly, Asians are smart. Publicly, Hispanics are hardworking. That's their reputation. So all of their degenerate behavior... Is overlooked. It's always given a pass. Not only is it given a pass, people soften the blow. Oh, he was having a hard time in life. This is just a one-time mistake, even though it's his 137 time. But since we don't protect our reputation, everybody dumps it on us. Like, made a video not too long ago. If, if all else fails, blame a black man. And the reason other people blame us is because we don't protect our reputation. We don't say, hey, 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 that ain't me. Hey, hey, we don't get down like that. Hey, 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 hey. No, 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 no. You're not going to pull that. Because we don't care. And in America, perception is reality. So if a perception is reality in this country, guess what happens? People perceive you a certain way. And they don't care about reality. See, America is, is a funny place where, you know, if, if, if I look at you 
and 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 I and I see you as angelic in my mind. You could do all the devilish stuff in the world, but I'll still see you as an angel. Cause you, you, you we're justified. Well, the devil is an angel too. Yeah. Maybe he's just having a heaven and hell midlife crisis. Nah. You know, that's the thing about us being violent. You know, us, our, vi our, our depiction of us being violent has morphed into toxic masculinity. But everybody else, they can kill, rape, pillage. It doesn't um, beat their reputation. Whatsoever. It's not like, oh, Billy's such a good kid, though. All right, whatever. You know, think about it. Protect your reputation. We looked at it as drug dealers. Oh, you got it black. You must be a drug dealer. Look I'm, look, I'm wearing a San Francisco 49er hat. I must be a San Francisco drug dealer because he's wearing a football hat. Oh, my God. NFL hats, NBL hats. MLB, I'm bugging. MLB hats, NBA hats. If they wear NHL, it's got to be where they sell their dope. But who is the biggest drug dealers in America? White folks and Hispanics. And then Asians. That's not their reputation. Though. So because we're not protecting our reputation, we're, taking the, we're just taking a full frontal side and I'm not going to... You know what? We just we just catching it from all angles. Pause. Yeah, that was just yeah. I just had to say pause. I'm too old to be saying pause, but I gotta say pause. While everybody else is doing this dirt, like I said earlier, not on this video, but earlier, El Chapo is looked at. As one of the, was just indicted and sentenced, found guilty. He's really the face of crime in Chicago at the, for the last some odd years. Made a video a long time ago that says, you know, the FBI is in on the drug dealing and, and, and Chicago is a hub city for Mexican cartels. But they're not the face of violence. Because we don't protect our reputation and say that's not us. That's why if you go to the movies and you watch any movie where there's a hero and a villain, a white guy can tear up a whole city. Not a problem. Shoot up a whole block. Not a problem. Go on a vigilante rampage. Not a problem. Knock down buildings, statues, flip over cars, hit and run accidents. All they gotta do is put good music to it. Oh man, this was entertaining. These guys aren't violent. These guys are. He's a hero. Oh, okay. 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 Now, if the Hulk was black. Smashing everything everywhere? Mm, mm, mm. Oh, Lord, no. Uh-uh, no. Mm -mm. You know. Hulk smashed. Oh, kill him! They even tried to kill the Hulk, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's hero movies, but... But because we don't protect our reputation, we got to be these regal characters who have th these complicated storylines because we can't just go around just wrecking stuff because our reputation of being... Violent, hypersexual, mean. We gotta be superheroes, <laughs> but we can't. But but we gotta be superheroes, but we gotta look in the mirror for the police behind us. Woo! Almost got. Woo! Almost got shot. I'm trying to save these people, but these police on my ass. White man's got his foot on my hero neck. So, if we don't protect our reputation, nobody else will. And everybody else will exploit our reputation while doing whatever they want to do. So, 
Same thing happens in real life. Same thing happens with your family, your friends, your co-workers. Protect your reputation. Because if you don't, the reputation other people make of you will precede you and will, and will probably be negative. That's why when you come across people, every time you're a positive person, oh my God, I, I thought you would be something else. Because we're not protecting our reputation. And because they crazy as hell and they just like projecting their bullshit on us. But that's what it is. Like, share, subscribe. We out. Peace.